Hi, and welcome to another episode of The U. My name is Jason Belk, and I'm a senior technical advocate in the Learning Certifications Organization. Today, you're going to get some hands-on with NetMeco, building your first NetMeco script. Now, you might ask, what is NetMeco? Well, NetMeco is a free and open source library that simplifies Paramico SSH connections to network devices. Now, Paramico is a popular general purpose SSH Python library, but it requires a little bit of extra coding to handle a lot of the details when you're connecting to network devices. Rather than reinventing the wheel, many network automation engineers use NetMeco because it's free and open source and with common network support for platforms such as Cisco IOS, Nexus, IOS XR, as well as other vendor platforms. Now that you've gotten a little bit about what NetMeco is, let's cover what the high level points are in building your first NetMeco script. First, in your first step, you're going to create that Python file, naming it 1-netmeco-intro.py, and we're going to import NetMeco and git pass. NetMeco is the Python library that we're going to be using. It needs to be pip installed. I'm going to set up a virtual environment where I'm going to be installing that in our local environment. As well as the second library, we're going to use git pass. And git pass allows us to prompt the user for that password. So when we're plugging our password into our script, it's not stored in plain text anywhere. We're just asking for it at runtime, and then we can plug it in and be on our merry way. Our second step is going to be create a device dictionary. And this device dictionary is just going to include such things as the IP address, device type, password, username, fun stuff like that. Then on our third step, once we have that device dictionary, we can plug it into a, a new object that we'll be creating using the connect handler class from the NetMeco library. So the NetMeco library has this connect handler class that we plug that device dictionary in. It will unpack all of those inputs and feed them into a new device object that we'll be calling a NetMeco device as that device object. Once we have that Python object, we can move on to step four. And we're going to use that device object to both find our device prompt as if we were logging to that device remotely, now using Python. We can then send a show command, see the output, print it to our screen. And then finally, we want to explore around a little bit and see what other available methods we have on this Python object. And so we're going to use a dir um, function basically to, to look at that Python object and see all the different op options we have available to us that we could also, I guess, look at in, in the NetMeco documentation. So now I have my code editor open. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is made by Microsoft. It's a free and open source code editor, VS Code, right here. And I'm going to first save my file, naming it one dash netmeco dash intro dot py so now we have our python file saved we have the extension saved there so um the vs code net starts highlighting based on our python editing we're going to have this first line here to basically tell python hey if we're going to execute this execute it as a python 3 file and now we need to import netmeco and that, the way we're importing NetMeco here says from NetMeco import connect handler. And what happens there is, is basically we only need to import the connect handler class because that's the part that's going to instantiate the device object. If we import all of NetMeco, it's not as important as just importing the connect handler class. And this is how their documentation suggests we get started. Then the second line there is from git pass import git pass. And this is going to import the git pass function so that way we can then ask for our password when we create our device dictionary and finally our next line is going to say if name equals main so if underscore name equals main and basically what we're doing here is telling python hey if, if someone imports this code don't run the, whatever i have below here that this protects us a little bit. So if somebody wants to use our script and import somewhere else, it's not going to, because Python would automatically just load in all of the different lines and then execute them willy nilly. But if we have all of our code under the if name equals main, that allows us to then separate our, out our code a little bit. Now for the next part, we're going to create the device dictionary. So we have device dict and we're going to create it there. So now we have the curly brackets to tell us we're creating our device dictionary. And the keys for this device dictionary actually matter how we spell them, because this is how um, NetMeco is going to feed them in and be expecting these particular names of how we spelled it with the underscore for device underscore type. And they have a list of different device types on their documentation. So I'm going to do Cisco IOS underscore Telnet. If I was using SSH, I wouldn't need to say that Telnet part at the end. But since the devices I'm using in the sandbox only have the Telnet, 
we're going to just use the telnet style. So we have host as our next key, and we're gonna give here the IP address of 10.10.20.175, which I pulled from the sandbox information. And then our next key is gonna be username. So it's basically your username. In this case, we'll just be Cisco. We'll have our comma at the end of our dictionary to say one last key value pair of password. And so normally if, if we were doing this just the first time, you, you wouldn't wanna plug in the password. You could just say Cisco, but since we're going to do it a little more securely and we don't want to save our password in plain text, we're going to say get pass parentheses. And what this tells Python is, hey, when you get to this part, prompt the user and ask for a password and it's going to plug it in there stored at runtime. So now for our next part, we are going to create that NetMiko device. And so for, for the NetMiko device, we need to give the object a name. So we're going to call it NetMiko underscore device and then assign that to our connect handler. You can see the autocomplete coming in from our import statement for using PS code. And so we're using the connect handler class, double star to say, hey, unpack all the stuff from our device dictionary. And if I tap complete that, we have VS code, it plugs in our device dict we just defined for our iOS telnet device, our host name, username, password. We'll then get fed into the connect handler, connect to the device and get things running. And now I'm gonna have a print statement that is going to say netmiko underscore device dot find prompt. Oop, if I spell it correctly, device, and then just have that there. And we say dot find underscore prompt. So this is an associated method for our object from that's been inherited from that NetMiko, all the code going in behind the scenes. So it's, it's going to find the prompt and print it out to the screen. So it's going to log in behind the scenes on, on the line 13 there. Then line 14 is going to print out what it's going to find, which in this case is the device prompt. And finally, we want to print. We're going to print netmiko device dot send command. We're going to send a command to our device and show version pipe include version. Just because the show version can have a lot of information, we don't want to clutter up our screen. And so we have our prints, parentheses open and closed, just to make it a little bit easier to read. And from there, we're going to do two last things. So we'll say print dir on NetMiko device, which basically this is going to take the NetMiko device object and then do a dir on it, which is going to show all the available methods. So we can see the options we have available to us after we've created this object. So we have find prompt, we have send command, we can do configuration commands as well. In this example, we're just doing read only because read only allows us a little more safety even in, in our testing, just to make sure that we're not going to break anything. We're just checking what is the device status. And finally, we can do NetMiko device.disconnect to make sure that we disconnect from that telnet and we don't use up that port. And now that we have our script saved and completed, we can go back to our terminal. So I'm in the same directory where that file is, and I'm going to say Python, and then the name of the file, one dash netmiko dash intro.py, just use tab complete, and when I push enter, it's going to prompt me for that password. Remember we have the get pass parentheses, so from here I'll type in the password, which in this case for the lab is just Cisco. We also have this deprecation warning because I'm using an older version of Python. You may or may not see this depending on where you're running your environment, but it's totally fine for our lab purposes. We're not worried about the fact that we're using Python 3.6. So we'll just type in Cisco, push enter and move on. So now behind the scenes, it's going to be connecting to the device, sending that show command, finding the prompt and print, printing out to the screen the different available methods. So I'll highlight here, we have on the first line after the password prompt, we see it says dist router one, and that's our find prompt. If you remember back to our code, we have creating the device object, plugging the variables, and netmiko device .find prompt. that's that first line here. Next, we have the show version command. So I did pipe include only just the word version. So we have these two lines here that did a show version to, the, to our network device, in this case, just an iOS XC 17.03 and another one that had the word version capitalized. And so when we did that show version, it took the string, now printed it out to the screen when it sent the command, took the output and saved it into a variable. And then finally, the last part here, we, we can see a Python list. And this is from when we did the, the directory, the DIR on our um, device object. So this shows all the, what they call dunder, double underscore methods that are available for this particular object. 
And the more interesting ones probably are ones that you can probably think of using them. We have config mode, we have check enable mode, lots of send command, which we use right now. So, so this is a nice one just to kind of see how many available options you have to you. I mean, using examples is definitely a good way to get going, look in the documentation, but you can always just do a dir on an object to see what your available options are in case you forget and you just don't want to have a quick reminder. And that's a good way to do that as well. And so from here, we have connected to our device, plugged in our dictionary for our device type, IP address, and username and password, prompting the user for the password, S found the prompt, sent a show version command, printed out that output to the screen, and then it can disconnected from the device. And from there, we've done everything that we set out to do. We imported NetMiko, created a device object, we sent a show command to it, looked at the available methods, and then disconnected from the device. Thank you for joining me today on this building your first NetMiko Python script. We'll have lots more coming out from the U and looking forward to sharing more exciting new tutorials with you as well. Thanks a lot.